computer. All right, so one more time. Uh, welcome to the call, guys. We're going to spend just a couple minutes right here at the beginning talking about what do I do. I just ordered a challenge pack um, with Beachbody On Demand uh, all access, and how do I get started? So the first thing you're going to do is you're going to open up your box, and you're going to find your Shakeology. You're going to find your portion control containers. But how do I get the information on how to do my meal plan? Well. First of all, everything is digital on Beachbody On Demand, so I'm gonna show you how to get started with that. So, where I'm gonna share my screen with you. So first things first, you are going to go to, I'm gonna start as if from the beginning. You're gonna to go to www.teambeachbody.com and you're gonna log in with your email address and your password that you used to create your account when you made your purchase. And so we're gonna sign in. Oh, it says, that's not me. Hold on just a second. Let me try one more time. Okay. So then you're going to see a screen like this. The first thing you're going to do is click on Beachbody On Demand right here. And if it gives you the... If it looks like this, if it doesn't go right to into the program, then you're gonna, I'm gonna need to log in again. Oops, gmail.com. Okay, so it's letting me in. No, don't save my password. So. As you can see right down in here, you have workout programs, you have trainers, how it works and so on. So I'm going to scan down and you can see all the stuff that's in here. You see the workout program. So what I'm gonna recommend that you do first is go, if you're wanting to use the portion control container system, which I highly, highly, highly encourage, is you're going to go to Fixate. You see right here, and you're gonna click on Fixate. So Fixate is the cooking show that teaches you how to use this, to use the meal plan, or it teaches you a little bit more about it. So as we come down here, the first thing I'm gonna do is go to, let's see here, Fixate content. Guys, I'm sorry, my, I'm normally viewing this from the app and not from um, my computer. So workout list, let's look at that. So here we go, foundational videos as you scan down. And containers 101, and you're just going to pick that and you're gonna hit play. So this containers 101 video is really going to teach you how to use the containers. So we as coaches don't have to sit down and like walk you through the system. You have this tool right here at your, at your fingertips. Also, um, pantry rate is a good one to watch so you know which ones to take out of your, to take out of your pantry, obviously. And you can see there's lots and lots of lots of recipes to give you ideas, okay? So the main thing is, is watch this video right here under foundational videos, under workout list, under fixate. Containers 101 is going to teach you how to use those containers. Now, when we go to program materials, you are going to see your fixate grocery lists, right? All of the the grocery lists of the things you can get and oh and then you're also going to see some fixate recipes now i'm going to go back to workout programs and i'm going to go to the 21 day fix why because the fixate meal meal plan was made to go with the 21 day fix. So when we come on here and we look at program materials, we're going to see the, come down to the eating plan. 
So when you go to the eating plan, this is literally what you would normally get in the mail with your program. And it teaches you all of it step by step. So you have the meal plan right here. But the main thing you need to know is the right container plan for you. So here's the math equation that's going to teach you how to figure out how many times you get to fill your containers. So then after you figure out your caloric target, your calorie target based on your um, but based on this math equations, you're going to come down and see the 21 day fix container plans. So based on the plan you're on, based on the calorie target that you're at, you're going to see where you are. Now, quick tip here. Um, if you fall in plan A, you can see 1200 to 14 to 1500 calories. That's not a lot of calories. Um, so if you find yourself hangry, my best suggestion is to give yourself an extra yellow, uh, give yourself an extra green container. So an extra thing of veggies. Um, and if you have to, an extra red. However, if you look across the board here, just the next plan and plan B, you get one extra, one extra veggie, one extra fruit. So if you have to bump it up, you can, you can follow that. What I'm going to recommend though, for any nursing mama out there, nursing mamas in the house, Jennifer is one of my nursing mamas right now on this call, go, go up a plan. So when you do the math equation and it says that you need to do plan A, to make sure your milk supply does not go down, you need to do plan B. Okay, so do one plan higher than what it says if you are a nursing mama. Okay, so that, that breaks that down. So as you scan down, obviously you can read this on your own. That's not what I'm here to do for you today. You can read this on your own. I wanted you to know how to access it. But as you scan down, you have options for tally sheets which the first time I did this, I'm, I'm not highly technologically inclined. First time I did this, I printed off, I printed off one of these. I put it in a, um, a, a slip dry erase thing and literally used a dry erase marker to mark them off as I use them. However, now there is a great app. So you can go, go if you are a um, iPhone user, or Android user, you can go to the Play Store or the App Store and you can type in Beachbody 21 Day Fix and it literally gives you an app that, um, that breaks all this down for you. And as you fill your containers throughout the day, you can check them off on the app. Uh, and the cool part of the thing about that app too is this, math equation here at the beginning, you have to enter in all those stats. So it does all of that for you. So go to the App Store, the Play Store, and download the 21 Day Fix app. I believe with iPhone, I believe it's free. With Android, I think it cost me a buck 50 or, or two bucks or something like that for, for Android. Um, so the cool thing is though, as you scan down guys and you see, there's lots of, um, there's, there's sample, like if you don't know how to build your meal plan, there's sample meal plans, okay? So you, it gives you guides as far as, okay, I don't know how to even begin. Well, do exactly what it tells you to do here, okay? Follow one of these meal plans and try it out and see if it works for you. Now, as you get down to the um, what's allowed to go or what's suitable or acceptable to go in your containers, it goes from top to the bottom, from best choice to not best choice. <laughs> best choice to not best choice, right? So one other thing though, is I know Jennifer's on this call and Jennifer is a vegetarian or a vegan. So let me share two for my vegetarians and my vegans out there. Come on, don't stop share screen with me. I've got to go to the next tab. Okay, so eating plan, vegan plan friendly. You see right under the eating plan, there's the eating plan vegan friendly. So the cool thing about the, the eating plan for vegans is it gives you your carbs are in two different categories. So you have your uh, carb A and carb B. And as you scan down, you can see that you get your carbs in two different 
categories. So for those of you who don't eat meat or no animal products, or even if you're a vegetarian, you might wanna consider doing this option primarily because um, there aren't a whole lot of choices for protein. There aren't a whole lot of for vegan. And Jill, I'm gonna have just heads up, I'm gonna have you speak on that for just a second, okay? Because you you're my resident weekly weekday vegan who's done this before. So give any suggestions you have, just heads up on that and coming to you in just a second. Um, and then so that that's one thing to get started. Now, guys, here's the next thing to consider. I'm gonna stop sharing my screen is the 21 day fix meal plan is based on if you're doing the 21 day fix workout. So it's, con it's assuming you're burning 450 calories a day. And so if you're not burning 450 calories a day, say if you're doing three week yoga retreat, right? You're not burning 450 calories a day. You're maybe burning 100 calories a day. So be mindful of that. If you're following the equation and you're like, Aubrey, I'm not losing weight. What's the problem? Well, if you're not doing the 21 day fix workouts, you may actually need to be in a lower caloric level. Now, no one needs to be lower than category A. No one needs to be lower than that. It's, it, you just don't need to do that. But just have that in mind. So if, you, if you're not getting the results you're looking for, if you're not doing those workouts, you need to contact me or you need to contact your coach in regards to help you figure out a better, a better solution. So that's that. You need to educate yourself as far as your program and your nutrition plan is concerned. Um, the next thing you need to do is if you want to download the app, download the 21 Day Fix app. That will help you, help you track your, your food. Now, we as coaches don't get to see that. We don't get to see the 21 Day Fix app. But what we do get to see is My Challenge Tracker app. So we want you – downloading the My Challenge Tracker app, which you will get an invitation from your coach as soon as you get started or the program is that um, the challenge that they are leading is started, you'll get an invitation to that. You need to be logging your workouts and your Shakeology every time you do them because we in co as coaches can see from the back end what you're logging and generally speaking, look at our spreadsheet on a weekly basis to see who's checking in or not. and um, and then let us know how you're doing, okay? It takes a communication between us. So that's getting started. Going down the road is a different story that we'll cross that bridge when we get to it, but that's how you get started. And if you have any questions about what was just shared, please, please, please contact me personally or contact your coach if I am not your coach. So Jill, I'm gonna take you off mute real quick. And if you have any extra suggestion as far as vegans with that meal plan. Yeah, so as Aubrey mentioned, there aren't too many vegan options. Um, what I did whenever I did it um, was tofu and tempeh were, I was having them with every month, but also a great way to get an extra protein is a really good, clean, organic um, protein powder that's vegan. For example, like pea protein or some organic hemp protein, you know, just make sure that whenever you're looking at the container, the only ingredient is like hemp protein and there's not like sugar and like everything else in it. Um, but you can generally find those places and that's a good way to get some reds in as well. And so, but she, you, you don't do that protein in replace of your Shakeology. You do that as a, your extra protein on top of your Shakeology, correct? Yeah, so I'll, I'll do Shakeology as a red. So like I'll make a shake with Shakeology and a scoop of hemp protein. So then I'm crossing off two reds in that one shake. And that, awesome. That awesome. Thank you for sharing that. Cool. All right, guys, I'm going to quit recording for today and we're going to get on with just our community support call. Here we go. Thank you.